Let's take a look at Kramer's rule on a T84 plus uh, calculator. And I'll work with the simple equation, but uh, it could equally be applied to a harder one. Because uh, we know with a simple one like this, you could just do it by hand anyway. True benefit is when you got something more complex. But we've got 3x plus y is equal to 6. And 7x minus 2y is equal to 1. <clears throat> and, um, excuse me, normally we um, refer to the determinant of the coefficients, uh, the numbers in front of our variables, as d. So we'd have 3, 1, 7, negative 2. And then we say d sub x, what you do is you take this and you replace where the x's were with the numbers on the right side. So we got 6, 1, 1, negative 2. And d sub y, you're going to take your original d and replace the y column, the 1, negative 2, with the numbers on the right side. So this remains 3, 7, and this becomes 6, 1. And that's going to be giving you something. And our answer um, for x would be d sub x over d, oops, and y would be d sub y over d. Well, we got some very limited naming uh, in the calculator. So um, this one I'm going to put into a. This one I'll put into b. And this one I'll put into C. So um, this right here is going to be determinant of B, and I'll actually use the vertical bars there, over D, um, D which we said was going to put into A. So be equal to that. And this one will be the determinant of C over the determinant of A. Okay, let's uh, put this in our calculator and see what happens. So I'm going to do a second x and negative 1 to go to the matrix menu. Uh, that's actually your inverse button. Right arrow twice over to edit. And then we'll do enter on A. And A, we said, was going to be a 2 by 2, rows by columns. So 2 enter, 2 enter. And we'll put in 3, 1. So 3 enter, 1 enter, 7 enter, negative 2 enter. So that's my first matrix here. So I exit out, do second mode. We'll go back to my matrix menu, second x and negative 1, right arrow over to edit, down arrow to B, and press enter. And this is going to be a 2 by 2. And we'll put in this matrix. So we've got 6, enter, 1, enter, 1, enter, negative 2, enter. And then I'll exit out, second mode. Then I'll go back in my matrix menu, second x, negative 1, go over to edit, down arrow to C, press enter on it, and I'll put 2 by 2. And this will be my last one down here. So 3 enter, 6 enter, 7 enter, 1 enter. And then I'll exit out. Okay. Now we're ready to do this formula here. So we're going to have the determinant of B over the determinant of A. So I'm going to do my second x to negative 1, right arrow to math, enter on DET, back into my matrix menu, second x to negative 1, down arrow to B, enter, close parentheses on determinant, divided by, and then I'll do uh, second x to negative 1, right arrow to math, enter on DET, go back to the matrix menu, enter on A, and I'll put a closing parentheses, even though you don't need it at the very end, and press enter. And that's going to give us x is equal to 1. Now for y, that's a determinant of c over determinant of a. So I'll go back to the matrix menu, second x to negative 1, right arrow to math, enter on DET. Go back in the matrix menu, down arrow to c, enter. Closing parentheses, divided by, go back into your uh, matrix menu, and uh, right arrow to math, determinant. And back in the matrix menu, enter on A, closing parentheses, enter, and that gives us 3. So our answer to the system of equations using Kramer's rule with the calculator is 1, 3. 
now we know it's pretty pretty straightforward to find the determinant of the two by two matrix. Um, but imagine a three three by three or four by four, and how much uh, time this would save um, using the calculator. Of course, we could use REF and uh, been done done a while ago. <laughs> so anyway, that's using Kramer's rule on a T eighty four plus calculator.